Today's machine shop project has to do with the grain mill. Um, the grain mill is uh, run by a cordless drill uh, that chucks on this piece and turns one of the one of the three rollers uh, in there that are just a knurled surface. Um, the adjustment of the grind is based on this little dude that moves one of these rollers uh, in and out uh, further or closer away to one of the other rollers. And the way that happens is there is a a little lobe in here that's slightly off center and then as you turn it up and down uh, it gets it, it positions the center of the axis of this roller closer or further away to the the other uh, pieces so um, I wanted uh, a, a larger adjustability because what happened was is um, the last brew I did I had this thing all the way open here on what they're affectionately calling 63 thousandths of an inch, I assume. So there's a little uh, marker here that shows the uh, that shows the position, uh, and we and I had it adjusted to about here, but the grind was still too fine, so it wouldn't open it up at all. So what I've done is I've machined two two replacement rollers, and I'm about to put a a new lobe into the end here that holds that um, that holds that piece. So having done a little bit of sketching and Fusion. Um, I've got the three. This is not focusing at all. There we go. So I've got the the major diameter of that shaft, and then I've got the old lobe position and the new lobe position, and then the three jaws of the chuck uh, here, uh, sort of shown in the drawing. So what I need to do is I need to stick something in between. Um, one of these three jaws in order to offset the uh, the major axis of this knob uh, far enough that the the little axis of the axis of the lobe is off by the right amount so um, here is the major axis of the knob and then here is the axis uh, sorry here's the axis of the new knob um, and then if you look at, if, if you rotate this thing around the new, the axis of the new knob, um, then we should have about 2.6 millimeters of swing from side to side. Um, so what I've done is I've set this up in the lathe, um, and I have, um, I have jammed two drill bits on one side of the uh, one side of the chuck here in order to offset the major axis of this piece um, by far enough that it should be swinging that 2.6 millimeters off. So I've got an indicator set up here and uh, and then as we rotate this um, this took some this took a little while to set up and figure out what what size drill bits to use. It's not quite as obvious as it would seem because there's some there's some V geometry down in here that captures the different size drill bits different in different positions so it wasn't just a matter of doing some simple math it was doing a bit of math and then some trial and error to, to, to drill down um, so anyway as this thing rotates uh, you can see that we go from zero to about 2.6 millimeters 2.64 millimeters off axis um, from side to side so that should set the new axis for this lobe in about the right spot. So anyway, I'll cut, I'm going to cut uh, two of these pieces and put it in the grain mill and give it a shot.